Romans chapter 10. Romans chapter 10 is where we are in our study of God's word together. And by happy coincidence, blessed coincidence, the message that we had in Sunday school lines up exactly with the message that we're going to have in Romans chapter 10. That God has so ordained it in the course of our life together today that we will have a strong emphasis on the good news of Jesus Christ, the gospel of our salvation. As I've shared with you in the past, I believe that evangelicals, as the name, is identifying a movement that is supposed to be all about the gospel of Jesus Christ, that evangelicals, by and large, have lost or are in the process of losing the understanding of what the gospel actually is. I have a deep concern for the evangelical movement that it is in fact not evangelical, but is uh, being overtaken by false gospels. I'm not the only one, of course, who has this concern. Even decades ago, when J.I. Packer was writing his introductory essay to John Owen's work, The Death of Death and the Death of Christ, what a great title that is. I recommend John Owen for your reading if you're interested in the gospel. But J.I. Packer wrote, one of the most urgent tasks facing evangelical Christendom today is the recovery of the gospel. You don't have to recover something that hasn't been lost. And so J.I. Packer and, and many other Christians have noted the sad trend among those who identify as evangelicals or evangelical churches in misunderstanding the very heart 